Can you guide me through step three? You know I've asked and I've asked a lot. Can you take me there? And I think you, you know what I've been asking. Can you just give me words of appreciation and take me and us all to that place? We're speaking from your perspective. I have been focused upon some specific things that matter a lot to me. And in the process, I have managed to launch more rockets of desire around this than I can count. And I sense that those rockets of desire have managed to accomplish a point of attraction. But since I can't see it yet or see it in its tangible form, sometimes I doubt it because I'm accustomed to trusting what I see, but not so much trusting what is unseen. I want to find a way of knowing it even though I can't see it. I want to feel it even before it is because I understand that until I feel it, I'm not going to be able to see it. It would be so much easier if I could see it and then know it, but I understand that I've got to know it before I can see it. And so I'm not really asking you, Abraham or source energy to do anything about it, to make it happen in some unnatural way. What I'm really asking for is that I can somehow release my resistance in a way that I can trust that it is coming because trust feels so good and doubt feels so bad. And so what I'm really talking about here is how can I goose up my trust? How can I remind myself that things are really always working out for me? How can I trust that it will be as I want it to be? So here's the answer to that question. Look at other things around you that are as you want them to be. And remember when you didn't see them as they are now. Remember the things that were in motion before you could see them. And know that all things are that way. Trusting the process is the answer to your question. But it's not the easiest thing to do. But you can trust in your alignment. You can trust in your emotion. You can trust in the laws of the universe. You can trust in the very consistent law of attraction. You can trust in your inner being who is aware of you. You can trust that source is with you. You can trust that what you want is known and honored and experienced by the inner being part of you. You can trust that. It's just a matter of practicing that feeling. That's what the process of getting to anything that you want that hasn't come about yet. This is what you have to accomplish. You have to realize that the journey has begun and you want to stay in your lane as you're going. You want to find the thoughts that feel good. And if the thought doesn't feel good, then release it as quickly as you can. And don't let a worrisome thought get started. Don't let it get any momentum going. As you go to bed at night, lie on your bed and know that while you sleep, that any momentum that is slowing anything down will stop. And the momentum of your source and the momentum of what you are wanting is underway in full swing. And imagine that when you awaken in the morning, because you've slept and your vibration has risen as a result of being asleep, that you will meet the vibration of your source in the moment that you awaken and ask specifically for some feeling, some impulse, some confirmation of that and expect it to come at first in the form of emotion. It can come in other ways through rendezvousing. People will say things to you. They don't even know you and they'll be saying things to you that are meaningful to you. Things will happen in your environment. All kinds of things will come as messengers to let you know that you're right on track. Watch for the evidence of the messengers all along the way. This is really what we are wishing for all of you to look for evidence of your alignment before the manifestation. This is the secret of living happily ever after. And it's the secret of getting the specific things that you want. Look for the evidence before it is seeable, hearable, smellable, tasteable, touchable. Look for the evidence along the way and watch what happens. An avalanche of it will come to you. You're ready to receive the evidence. Yeah. Have Thank fun. Thank you. Have fun with it. I will. Yeah. Yeah. This is a really good time for segment of refreshment.